Hello everybody, this is the English starter for Wednesday the 24th of February. So as always, make sure you've warmed your hands up before we get started because that always helps you to write a little bit better. Now remember today that you need to take your time when you're writing these letters and make sure you're actually sitting them on the line properly and putting them in the right place and not rushing to get finished. So today we're learning to write smile family letters, U, that makes the O sound, and Y, that makes the Y sound. Okay, now as always, you'll need a pencil because that's the best way to practice writing letters, and you'll need some kind of lined paper. That could be your homework book or any kind of lined paper will do. Okay, so I'm going to start with the letter U. That makes the O uh sound. And just like a lot of other letters, this letter does actually start at the top. Okay, and it looks like this. So it sits on the line like this. So it starts here between the lines and it goes down the umbrella, curls round, goes up the umbrella and some children stop there and they think they've finished the letter, but they haven't because you need to go back down and give it a puddle. Okay, so some children go down and up and they think they finished, but that's not right. And some children go down and up like this. And that's not right either. Can you tell me why? Yeah, because it looks like a letter V. The letter U doesn't have any pointy bits. So it starts at the top and it goes down, curves round, goes up the umbrella and back down to the puddle. And it's called a smile family letter because it looks like a smiley face. So when you're writing it, you can imagine that you are drawing a smiley face and then finish it off with a puddle like that. So when you do it on your piece of paper, so these are mine from yesterday. So I'm going to start down here with today's. Remember that this top line is the same as the top red line. And you can see we didn't touch the top red line. So when you do it here, you need to sit it in between those two lines and go down the umbrella, curl round, up the umbrella and down to the puddle, like that. Up, just like that. Down the umbrella, up the umbrella and back down to the puddle. Don't be tempted to stop there because that's wrong. We don't want any like that, okay? Make sure as well that they don't start on the top line because huh, that's far too big, isn't it? It has to sit in the middle. So down the umbrella, up the umbrella, down to the puddle, just like that. So that's how you do the letter U. And the letter Y is pretty similar. There's just one difference. So it starts at the top, just like you. And you go down the axe face, up the axe face, back down. But instead of flicking, you carry on down to the red line and you curl round the axe tail. I'll show you again. So we start at the top, down the axe face, up the axe face, and give him a tail. And can you see the tail is sitting on this line down here? So make sure it's not short like that, because that doesn't look quite right, does it? And also make sure, I've seen children do this, and they go down, they curl the wrong way. Make sure you're curling that yak's tail around the yak's face and curl the tail sitting it on the line. So on your piece of paper, you start in a similar place to the U between these two lines. And you go down the X face, up the X face, and sit his tail 
on the line, just like that. So we'll do another one. Oh, that wasn't my best one. Let me try another one. And the X face up the X face. Sitting his tail on the line. I think that one's my best one. Okay, have a go. Let your teacher know how you get on. And I'll see you again for some more handwriting tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.